Callie Lewis. I've got a new look for you and a new device. I'm going to hop over here into bed with Phil Dickinson. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? All right. How are you? <laughs> you are from You're a lucky Central. man. Not many. There's a lot of guys who want to be in your position. I've right heard now. many guys have died in this position. <laughs> <laughs> AndroidCentral.com. He is a very funny guy. If you're not following him on Twitter and Google Plus, definitely do that. I don't know about Facebook because I don't read you on Facebook. I don't read anything on Facebook. You have a special device for me. The embargo just lifted. We can now officially kind of talk about the Galaxy S4 a little more. Uh, I was here, what, a month ago or so for the uh, launch event at Radio City yeah. Music Hall. We've been using this phone for a few weeks now, and it's, it's really nice. It's good. So what... In a summary, is special about it versus the three updated hardware. Um, it's almost the exact same footprint as the Galaxy S three, so it's really no bigger. It's you know where phones have a habit of, of getting larger and larger to the point where you're pointing at them from like six my feet Note away. Two? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you've got a five inch display instead of up from a, a four seven. I think that yeah. the Galaxy S three was. Uh, it's in the same footprint basically as the Galaxy S three. It's changed a little bit. You lose some of the curves mm -hmm. in the back. So it's a little more squarish, but I wouldn't call it blocky at all. Uh, really nice display. It's Super AMOLED, so it's not quite as good, I think, as uh, Super LCD 2 and 3, especially when you get to outdoors, but inside looks great. Really uh, I mean, iterative as far as hardware goes, so Snapdragon 600 processor, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, all that good stuff. But yeah. really, it, it's the software is the big thing for Samsung, and, and that's really what they're pushing. The, the big, big, cool features, and they're a little gimmicky, but they're cool. Um, is the ability to hover your finger over certain applications. Like you used to be able to do with the S Pen? Right, exactly. Now you can do it with your finger. So let's see, hopefully we Are don't we have anything too hard. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> so you see, I'm hovering my finger awesome. over it, and it's previewing the yeah. email. It only works in specific applications. It doesn't work in the Gmail app, for instance. Right, it has um, to be their native apps. Yeah. Exactly. It, it works in the, uh, the Samsung browser that's on here, so you can preview tabs. Uh, so that's cool. Another thing is to be able to swipe, let's see if we can find the gallery, you can wave your way through things. So instead of touching the screen and moving through uh, photos, because that's so 2012, oh, Christ. you can just wave your hand over it. Nice. It's, you know, very Jedi Knight. Okay, well, here's the question. Yes, with yes. stuff like that, mm -hmm. with gesture control, do you actually use it? The idea is... Or are you just going to go straight to what you've always done? Right. I mean, the idea is you're not going to use it all the time. Because for me, using my thumb to swipe through a picture is so much easier than saying... You will go to the next photo. <laughs> you will go to the next photo. And you know, it's that easy. And it, it actually works that well. Yeah. No, the idea is... It's kind if, of a, a change of habits almost. If your hands are wet or dirty or something, mm -hmm. I'm not sure why you'd be picking up your phone in the first place. But actually, if, if you're cooking, yeah. like recipes, right. that kind of thing. That would so be... then you would just turn the page. But is it only in gallery? Can you get no, it? No, no, no. This... It, it works also in the... Uh, the in all the other apps. In the stock well. browser, okay. you can you can scroll up and down. Uh, what do they call it? They call it internet. There it is. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory right, there. So, oh, look at that. Conveniently, it's open oh, to Android look Central. look at that. <laughs> I wonder how that happens. And you see you can scroll through pages. Nice. Just like that. That is pretty Left cool. Left or right, do anything. I don't remember. But it does, and you have the hover over the tabs, which no, it won't work so we only have one tab open. But that's where you can preview. Oh, so if you have multiple tabs, you can preview the, exactly. all the tabs that are open exactly. by hovering. Okay. Same uh, Samsung user interface that uh, we've come to know and love over the yes. past couple versions. It's mm -hmm. called TouchWiz. Um, a whole bunch of other uh, just, I don't want to call them little features because they're very important. Probably my favorite is S Health. So they have uh, borrowed oh, some, right. yeah, so they borrowed some, uh, some apps and technology from people so it can track your walking, it can track your food intake. You'll have to obviously put that in yourself. Uh, there are some options. I want apps. an app that just knows <laughs> what I'm intaking and Here's what I'm eating, and, and it just knows it, and it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah, um, they, there's some optional accessories. There's a, a heart rate monitor. There's a scale, a wireless scale, so it can monitor all that. So really cool and important stuff, I think. It's, it's neat to see them adding it in there. So if you don't get the accessories, you can use this for, like, walking right. because of the GPS. It'll track all exactly. that. Exactly. And, again, it's all optional. You know, it's not going to do it without you knowing it. So that's, okay. that's very important stuff. Um, otherwise, I mean, all the usual bells and whistles are here. Getting to Google Plus, if you use Google Plus, is an extra step. You have to hold down the home button like so, and then you hit the Google Plus button. You mean Google Now? Or Google Now, okay. excuse me. Yes. I just want to make sure. Okay. So it's an extra step, but it's there. Again, that's Google Apps kind of conflicting a little bit with Samsung Apps, but it all works and it's all there, and it's really good. 
Oh, Flipboard. That was another one that uses the uh, the cool hover feature. Oh, really? So Do they it, have a partnership with Flipboard? Yeah, actually, that goes back to the Galaxy S3. Does it? Okay. So, so I didn't you can hover that. over nice. things to preview them okay. in that section. So that's cool. Very cool. And that is the Galaxy S4 in a nutshell. 13 megapixel camera, by the way. Oh. It, it, Samsung's always had good cameras. Yeah, they have fantastic cameras. Yeah. We're actually using a Samsung Galaxy camera at the moment to film this. That's right. So. All righty. Well, thank you so much for the overview. Uh, I'm going to get my hands on this, like this one. I'm just going to take it. And... <laughs> Bye. Thank you. AndroidCentral.com. Phil Nickinson. See you. <laughs>